Hey everybody, it's the Loser of 08, and I just got back from the record store, and I picked up an album that I really wanted, and I also have three other albums that I've got this week. I was going to get another album, um, what was it? Bell Witch's Longing, really cool funeral doom drone doom metal nonsense, and uh, I wanted to save money for once, so uh, I couldn't get that. Oh well. But I do have these to show you, so let's look at that. Okay, uh, let's see what we got here. We got Behemoth and the Forest's Dream Eternally. This is a 1995 EP with some bonus tracks in it too. It's some really cool, you know, straightforward black metal album. None of that symphonic, atmo bullshit, you know, reeked into this. Which isn't that bad. I mean, I, I mean, I, I like I like some of that stuff too. But yeah, um, yeah. I, I said last video um, I wanted more black metal stuff, and I got this, so that's good. Uh, next, we got more black metal with Tiny Tim. God bless Tiny Tim. Some really heavenly, nice, silly pop music from this good old heavenly man right here, Tiny Tim. Wonderful, wonderful pop music. Then we have the microphones, the glow part two. Is there anything new I have to say about this album? It's Phil Elvrum, it's your lo-fi indie nonsense. This is the 2007 pressing, uh, this, this, uh, which means it has the bonus LP. So it's three LPs and it's really cool. So yeah, we got the elephant vacuum and everything. Yay. Also, the reason why I didn't get Bell Witch's Longing is because this thing was 40 bucks at the store that I picked this up at. So, uh, yeah, I spent all my money on this and I picked those two along the way. So this is, this is the reason why I'm not having, you know, monolithic doom drone nonsense, you fuckheads. And then we have, uh, the record that I just recently picked up. Coil! Backwards. Coil Backwards. It's a new album. It's, I mean, it's not really new, new album, but, um, it's, uh, archival stuff from the early, mid-90s. They, they make this out, they call this album, like, the bridge between their industrial stuff into their more ambient, electronic, experimental material. And there's a lot of, a lot of tracks on here, or I guess some tracks on here that were featured on later albums, stuff like The Ape of Naples and Black Antlers, uh, you know, tracks like Fire of the Mind and The Cold Cell, and they're all original tracks from it, and it's all cool as shit, and yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this, I've already enjoyed these on Wednesday when I bought all of them together, so yeah, this is gonna be it, and my hand is suffocating, and I hope you guys have a good day, bye.